Those of you guys who it is hard for you when you are at church on Mother's Day and they have all the moms stand. Right. Maybe you have suffered from infertility or, or child loss. It's okay that it hurts. And it's okay that you may not like this time. Hey, you awesome mamas. This is Lissa, and today I'm introducing you to my mama that wears many hats. Hey, you awesome mamas. This is Lissa, and today I'm introducing you to my mama that wears many hats, Jan. Hey there. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, we also have a blog that you can find over at mamawearsmanyhats.com. My mom is actually the one who heads that up for the most part because as I've mentioned in a previous video, it's hard for me to keep a continuous train of thought when I'm writing. And she's an amazing, articulate, wonderful writer, very descriptive and not overly wordy, which is nice. So if you haven't yet, make sure you jump over there. We actually have a semi-companion blog for this video. Now, as most of you know, this weekend is that amazing holiday that most people forget about, Arbor Day. No, not Arbor Day. <laughs> no, we're talking about Mother's Day. And before you click off because you're like, I don't wanna hear anything else about Mother's Day. Maybe you're having a rough time with Mother's Day. We recognize that moms can be in different seasons and we didn't wanna just make another, hey mom, you're so cool. Although we do have another one of those. Milo apparently wants to weigh in. If you watch my channel often, you know he is, he's here. He's not going anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Let me go get him. Isn't it, mamas, isn't this how it is though? It's time to film. It's time to do whatever your task, especially if it's a task you like that is not necessary. If it's something that gives you life, there's always gonna be an interruption. There's no. that inbred, internal, innate knowing that mom is about to do something that she would enjoy doing that just calls all the babies to the yard. All the babies. All the babies to the yard. All right, mamas. How do you handle Mother's Day when maybe you're in a slightly different season? When the hand prank cards and the crappy ceramic dishes don't quite tickle that place in your heart and maybe grate on a different emotion. So my mom is actually gonna share a story of why Mother's Day is a little bit of a bittersweet time for her. And then we're gonna talk about seasons and some stuff. So mom, <laughs> why don't you go ahead and tell us why Mother's Day is maybe not everyone's favorite holiday. Yeah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> I think we wanna focus today on the fact that there are a lot of people who are dealing with the loss of their mom, the loss of their grandma, the loss of um, a child infertility issues, being a single parent. There are so many women who are, you know, they're, they're living life, they're walking out their life, but um, when Mother's Day rolls around, there is just, they just don't want to mess with it. And it may just be, you know, it could be a lot of things that play into that, but probably one of the biggest ones I'm gonna let her keep talking and sharing her story while I go put him down, because otherwise we're gonna be here forever. So when Mother's Day rolls around, if you're experiencing some sort of loss, whether that is mom loss, whether that is a loss of a child, regardless of what it, the situation is, maybe it's a loss of dreams of the marriage that you thought you had and, and now you find yourself a single mom, or maybe it's the life you thought you were gonna have. We all, have things in our life that we are disappointed about or that we experience as loss. And I used to have this expression in my life that I said, if I don't mind, it doesn't matter. Like I, I just am gonna do mind over matter. Those things are still there and they do matter. And even though we may not be dealing with it, you know, those things are still there. So say all that to bring this back to Mother's Day because you got all the ads on television about 
what we're gonna, you know, what you're gonna do for mom this weekend or in the next two weeks when Mother's Day rolls around. So you have like 30, up to 30 days probably of advertisements that are geared towards Mother's Day. People at church are gonna be talking about Mother's Day on the virtual church services, you know, whatever is going on. And so it makes it very difficult for someone who's walking through loss. It can feel like you are the only person who is experiencing this right now. And you look at all the other happy faces and all the children, you know, non-quarantine times, right? The children who are bringing the little handprint, flowers, trees, little jewelry holder, whatever. There, You can make all kinds of things out of a handprint, right? At the end of the day, maybe you are not, you were not getting those things, or maybe you are getting them and they just don't mean the same. In talking about losing my mom, which happened 13 years ago in 2007, um, my mom passed away in February and it was a really difficult time. We were only a few months out from that when she passed away or from when Mother's Day rolled around again. I had a stepmother that I love. We were close and you know, I couldn't even call her on Mother's Day because I was so sad and just profoundly sad at the loss of my mom. And I kind of, I don't know, I hope that she wasn't offended by it. Like later, it took me a week or two, honestly, before I called her, come back over here. <laughs> anyway, so, so I didn't, I couldn't even really talk to her. Finally got up the gumption to call her and just say, I couldn't call you on Mother's Day because I miss my mom and I'm sorry, I value you, I love you. You deserved it for me to call you, but you know, I just couldn't make it happen. So you have the disappointment and the sadness and the things that you're dealing with it with grief. And then you have the guilt of how other people feel about how you're feeling about Mother's Day. I mean, it's ridiculous, right? Because it's hard to not Take put on, on yeah, you everyone want, else's. You wanna put on that happy face for your kids, right? You, wait, 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 moms? putting down how they feel or feeling bad about what they're going through because it might potentially impact someone else. Right. I know this is, um, it's rocking your world I right know. now, but this oh is goodness. actually how most moms oh are. Oh my so. goodness. So anyways, um, that first Mother's Day was super rough. And, um, you know, through that year, we had some grief. We actually lost my mother-in-law in June, right after Mother's Day. Sorry that same year. So it was a very difficult year for us. So by the time Mother's Day rolled around again, I still wasn't really feeling it. It was rough. Again, I, I put on, you know, the happy face for my kids. Um, and I still just miss my mom so much. There were days where I would just stand in the shower and cry. Just miss her so much. Like I wanted to call her and ask her about a recipe or something and um, realize as I picked up my phone, you know. So it, I miss, to anyone out there who's recently lost their mom, it, it will get easier. I'm not gonna say better because- It sucks. It sucks. And, and it doesn't stop sucking. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna love her and miss her forever, but, it gets easier and it gets easier to remember the good times um, as an example the last Mother's Day so that would have been in 2006 right that I spent with my mom and my stepmom this is gonna blow some minds out there we all my dad my father and my stepmother my stepdad and my mom were all at our house we gave them similar gifts but different colors mm -hmm. that they both really liked and we had lunch together after church and I mean when I've told people that before they're like wait your mom and your stepmom like they were all there at the same time together and they were and they had learned over the years they both have been married 30 plus mm -hmm. years to their new spouse right so they had learned over the years 
how to work through those things and forgive. Co-parenting, it's a real thing and it's possible. It is possible, it really is. Anyway, the point is there are a lot of good memories and initially it's really hard to think about them because they bring up so much sorrow. But over the course of time, they bring up comfort. Grief is one of the things that is most able to reshape how we experience things. Mm -hmm. It becomes a lens that we view things through. Right. Maybe you haven't lost a mom, but maybe you've suffered infertility, or you've suffered a miscarriage, or loss of a child, you know, late-term miscarriage, or even loss of a child that has you've birthed and has been fine whether explained or unexplained, maybe you're a mother to a child with special needs, and so you pour your life out without being able to see some of those, you know, things people consider the regular, reciprocation. the reciprocation. Yeah. Like, there's a natural and right emotion of grief when you're going through those things. Absolutely. And it is okay that that becomes part of the filter through which you view things. Everything is like, I mean, how many of you guys remember when you get married? And you're like, I'm married, it's great. And then like you actually are married for a time. And guess what? <laughs> then you see other people get married and you're sitting there going, <sighs> yeah, prayers. And it's not because marriage is bad. <laughs> marriage is amazing. It is. But marriage isn't necessarily what you think it is right. when you stand at the altar and go, Oh, you, know? you hear people talk about it and they like totally think they know. Oh yeah. And they're just like, and we're going to do this and we're going to do it this way and we're going to blah, blah, blah. And you're just like, mm -hmm. yeah, that's so sweet. Yeah, that's, that's sweet. sweet. <laughs> and the same thing, like even when you become a mom, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like pregnancy, like I, I've always wanted to be a mom and I was like, oh, I can't wait to be pregnant and wear the cute pregnancy in the belly and like all that. Oh my gosh. Pregnancy for some people, myself part of the time included, sucks. Is there is always going to be when it comes to the things that we endure the things that we walk through the the valleys that we pass through that then become part of the way we view those things mm -hmm. and that's not wrong so for those of you guys who it is hard for you when you are at church on Mother's Day and they have all the moms stand and you can't stand because maybe you're not technically a mom or maybe to biological, to biological children, children or stepchildren or, or maybe <laughs> you've suffered from infertility or or child loss or whatever the case is and that is just like a dagger in your heart it's okay if you're a single mom and you wake up on Mother's Day and there's no one there to get your three-year-old to cook you breakfast and your three-year-old doesn't know to tell you happy Mother's Day right it's a dagger in your heart and it hurts and it's okay that it hurts. And it's okay that you may not like this time. As a little caveat, we do wanna tell you Happy Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. For those of you who maybe you don't have biological children, maybe you have married into a family with children but you don't have biological children and that was a desire that you had that hasn't manifested. If you are a single mom, and there's not someone to lead that Mother's Day charge for you if you are Okay, pause, because you're a rock star well, if I you're was a single mom. To that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just couldn't okay. risk that it wasn't gonna be no, said. There you go, say it. Yeah, you're a rock star. <laughs> totally. Like, I just wanna say you are moms, okay? Being a mom is not about spitting a baby out of your body. Okay? It is, and it's not. A mother's heart is a heart that says, I see this potential beauty and I'm going to nurture it in every yeah. way I can. I'm going to protect it in any way I can. I'm going to love it in any way I can so that it can become the fullness of what it's supposed to be. That is a mother's heart and it is not tied to spitting a baby out your hoo-ha or out of a C-section scar <laughs> or anything like that. And you might be the best aunt in the world. Maybe marriage Kim. has been elusive and you know Kelsey. things haven't turned out the way that you thought they would by this time. Mm -hmm. But maybe you are um, the best aunt and to your nieces and nephews or maybe you are um, helping people at the boys and girls clubs, right? Uh, those mentors, man, they are, they're out there in the trenches, mm -hmm. right? Helping these, these kids who are at risk 
whose parents maybe aren't there to really help guide them and stuff like that. There are so many ways to parent yeah. in in our culture, but in many ways it, it really takes a it really does. And I think there were still so many women who are trying to act like they could do all of it, work, maintain their home, be the, the soccer mom, the wonderful mom, whatever, the Pinterest mom. And, and I think we've all come to a place where we're like, you know what? That was kind of a lie. <laughs> yeah. And we bought it and now we're, we're like not Burning the bras. It anymore. Exactly. Burning the mom bras. That's, it's, it's a thing. It's a yeah. thing. On that note though, I do also want to bring in a group of people that I know severely um, may not enjoy Mother's Day that, and maybe get overlooked. And that is people who are not moms by choice. Right. Women who have decided that they are more pro having a career or who just are like, I don't want to bring a kid into this world. Right. For, <laughs> for what and that is a valid yeah, thing. It's your choice. I I want to I want to acknowledge you too because again, just like sorry, you were talking about ants, and that made me think about um, my sister in law Kelsey, who is like the best aunt ever to my kids. Like I'm pretty sure if my son had the choice, he would just stay with her instead of coming back with me. <laughs> her and her husband, everything's Kelsey Josh, Kelsey Josh, Kelsey Josh. Yeah. And he also loves his his other aunt and uncle, um, Kaylee and Wesley. He loves Bear and Zizi. Like he loves them. But but Kelsey and Josh, um, they don't have any children and they don't have plans to have children, which I think is awesome. But they still are such an important part of the village. Of the village. Yeah. And so if you have chosen that that isn't and I know you're probably thinking, well why would I I don't know how I found myself here. This is a channel called Mama Wears Many Hats. I'm not a mama. But if you are a mama and you know someone like that in your life, I want to encourage you. Acknowledge them. Yeah. And this is not, hear me, because we're doing another video. This is not to take away from those who are mothers and from those and who are and are celebrating. Yes. We have a whole other video for we're that. We're good with that. We're both moms and we like to celebrate. Yes. So. <laughs> we just wanted to make sure that during this season, that you ladies who find yourselves either in a place of grief, a place of disappointment. disappointment, a place of discouragement, or a place of feeling less than because of societal or expectations judged, or right? judged, yeah. you don't have to, mm -hmm. okay? And so what I wanna do is, and I know my mom wants to do too, is we wanna say thank you. We wanna say thank you for breathing and birthing beauty into every arena, wherever you are, whoever you are, whenever you are, whatever season you're in you work hard you love hard you grieve hard and you are worth someone looking at you and saying thank you mm -hmm. and so that's what we just wanted to do we wanted to say thank you thank you in the middle of the grief thank you in the middle of the discouragement disappointment. Thank you for those of you who, like I mentioned before, you married into a family and maybe you have tension with a co-parent or you have tension not feeling like the real mom, whatever, like whatever your situation is, you are amazing and you are empowered and equipped to be in that situation. And the people who are in your life are there for a reason. Yeah. And that's all we wanted to say. So we wanted to say Happy Mother's Day. Biological, Mother's Day. physical, what not. You're a woman and you love people, you get a Happy Mother's Day, okay? Just because there's not a day for it doesn't mean that we don't want to say. Give Hallmark a few years. You'll have a happy <laughs> random female influence in the world day. Yes. The hat. Dibs, coined, cards, That'll franchise. make some nice cards, right? right. Anyway. That's all we wanted to say. Stop by and check out the blog. We have um, some tips on what to do if you have, to, when you have friends who are experiencing mom loss, um, sometimes you can stick your foot in it. And so hopefully this blog will give you some tips and hacks of how to be supportive in that time. Really look for what your friend needs from you. Mm -hmm. um, because you know what? It's easy to think that you can't really help that you don't know what to say that you're not good in times like these but at the end of the day we all can contribute there's always something that someone can do that will help lighten the load for someone experiencing grief ready watch this
that's it right there. You don't even have to say anything, right? Um, just be present. Yeah. Or come and secretly clean their house for them. Right? And like make them talk to you. That's it. We love you guys. We love you mamas. And if you haven't yet, make sure that you hit that like button if this resonated with you. If you think we're full of it, go ahead and hit the dislike button. Either way, we don't care. We're not insecure. Um, you can also, if you haven't, hit subscribe. If you're like, wow, this is kind of fresh. I've never been told it's okay for me to think Mother's Day is horrible. And, you know, make sure you subscribe because that is really the heart of this channel is we want to empower moms, empower women to birth beauty in every arena. That is literally our mission. And so if you have an arena that you need to be empowered to birth beauty in, stick around, hit subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell so that you get notifications because we all know there's lots of amazing content out of there. Lots of amazing content creators. Oh. And you don't want to miss it in the middle of everything. And there's mm -hmm. this totally cool thing called comments. Comments. Yeah. So scroll to the comments and leave one. Mm -hmm. Because here's the thing. We can't offer better content if we don't know what you like to see. Oh, that's true. You have a voice. You We're do. empowering you to comment. We're empowering you to birth beauty in this arena. Yeah. Because I've said it before and I'll say it again. As much as it may seem like this, I'm not just talking to hear myself talk. You're not talking to hear yourself talk. We really want to. I talk to myself we, anyway. We want you to leave these videos being like, yeah. Like, I mean, serious, like, maybe not. I mean, if you, it helps you, go for and it. Aside, she's referencing the movie Rocky. My mom hit it right on the head. Let us know what kind of content you want to see. Let us know. Also, have you experienced grief? Or is this, what, what does Mother's Day, like, what are you dealing with this Mother's Day? You know, are you kind of like, all I want for Mother's Day is to not have to see my kids because I've been with them nonstop for eight weeks? I have a friend who does that. She books a spa day. She plays hooky from church and she is gone the whole day. Uh, <laughs> Goals? <laughs> right? Okay. That's it, mamas. Thank you so much. We're so glad you're here. And let me know also in the comments if you think we should have this lady on more. I think we should. Aww.